Well, hello again, Josh here with Daily Mountain Bike Rider. And the one thing that you all ask me about more than anything mountain biking related or any other video is this beauty right here, my 1991 Suzuki Carry Japanese import mini truck. I've actually owned this thing for about a year. You guys keep wondering if I've sold it, but I haven't. And I still love it, it's a lot of fun. But I realized something. There's a lot of things about this truck that I didn't realize when I first bought it. And I wanna share with you in case you're interested or just curious about more details about the mini truck. So here are my top five things I wish I knew before I bought this truck. So the first thing I kind of figured when I bought this thing, but didn't fully understand, is that this truck draws more attention than any other vehicle. No, seriously, I mean, think about it. Anytime you pull up to get gas, or maybe you go into a store, if you see a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, or let's just say a Formula One car is sitting there, are you gonna go talk to the driver? Are you gonna ask him, hey, can you tell me about your car or what's going on? Some of you will, but most people think those people have a lot of money or man, they're in a whole different class than I am. And so you kind of leave them alone. And if you're like me, you kind of just stare and gawk at a distance. The thing with the mini truck though, is that this is not high class or high society. This just looks like a silly, funny, ridiculous toy because it is. So every time I fill up on gas, every time I go to the store, every time I drive this place to a trailhead, I have people constantly whoa what's that how many miles per gallon does it get how fast does it go and for me as an extrovert i absolutely love it but if you're thinking about getting this truck or you're just curious what it's like to drive around all the time be ready for the most attention you have ever felt in a truck now on to the next thing because people ask this more than any other let's talk about speed all right the second thing that i wish i knew going into this truck is that top speed is not really top speed. Here's what I mean. I looked online and I was curious how fast this thing would go and everyone said it goes 60, 65, even 70 miles an hour. And I will let you know that the fastest I've gone in the mini truck is probably about 72, which is 115 kilometers an hour. Here we go. This is pedal to the metal, fourth gear. It takes a while to get up there. Let's see how fast we can get it. But here's the thing, going that fast is not fun. Um, one, obviously, it's a little terrifying because you don't have airbags and the truck's small and tiny. When you go that fast, it's just loud. It doesn't really rattle, it, it stays true, but it's a loud truck. But here's the second thing, is that the cab of the truck gets really, really hot. You see, the engine is under kind of the driver and the passenger seat, more the passenger. So when you keep that thing revved for a long time up at a high RPM going 65 miles an hour, like I did when I brought the truck here to Bellingham, the cab gets very hot. I'm talking heat seaters that you can't turn off and you're sweating quite a bit. So when people always ask me the top speed, I always tell them, well, I'll tell you the real top speed is 65, 70 miles an hour. But in actuality, it really doesn't want to go above 80 kilometers an hour, which in miles per hour is whatever I put up on the screen. That's about as fast as I go in the mini truck. I try to keep it under 45 miles an hour and that's one safe, it's way more fun and it stays a lot cooler on the inside. This is not comfortable to lay down in. The third thing I wish that somebody had told me about or that I knew before buying the mini truck was something I thought I knew about again, but I really didn't. And that's all about rust. Here's the worst spot right here on the mini truck. And I looked at a couple of these and they all had rust issues. These are old vehicles. I mean, they're going on 30 years old. They're imported from Japan, which is obviously by the ocean. And these trucks are known for having quite a bit of rust. Now I picked the least rusty one that I could find, but I've still had a couple of issues. I've had some of the latches fall off, which some noticed in my last video. <laughs> the muffler actually rusted in one spot 
For me, it ended up being a really easy fix, just taking it to a muffler shop, and it was only about 100 bucks. But I've heard of a lot of people getting burnt on these trucks because they're so rusted, or the people who sell them make them look good on the outside. So I would just tell anybody who's curious about buying a mini truck, be sure to not just look for rust when you're buying them, but anticipate there's gonna be some damage over time. And that just kind of comes with the territory. All right, I'm gonna get out of this spot. It's not comfy at all. All right, number four thing I wish I knew is actually a good thing, and that's all about parts availability. When I bought this truck, I was super nervous that if something broke or something bad would happen, I would be in huge trouble trying to find parts, wait forever to get them, and have no idea how to install them. But the good thing is, since it's an older model Japanese truck, a lot of the parts on this from fuel pumps, oil filters, air filters, everything is pretty standard that you can get here in America. So any of the work I've done, sourcing parts is really easy. There's a lot of online forms about it. And really, it's not that hard to go find an importer who's, for me, it's only about an hour away in Seattle. If I really needed something specific, and usually they're pretty cheap because they're older vehicles. And the last thing I wish I knew more about or have known when I bought the truck is about tires. Kind of an odd subject, I know, but I bought this truck and it has Blizzak tires, which are like Bridgestone's ultimate snow tire. Like you put them on any car, you can go on ice, snow, you can walk on water with your car. Anyway, when I bought it, I thought, oh, these aren't gonna be great year round, but I'll just go down to Discount Tire or my local tire shop and buy some replacements. And when I showed up and told them, hey, here's what I need, they looked at the tire and said, well, we only have one. And I meant like, like one tire? They're like, no, we only have one type of tire. You see, these tires, it's like a four bolt wheel pattern, are so small that they're super specialty, basically trailer tires, but you have to get like load rated car ones. So anyway, all that to say, it is a pain in the butt to find good tires. You're gonna pay a little bit more than if you had like a Honda Civic or some cheap car. Um, but I wish I would have known that going in, thinking I could just replace these tires. It's not gonna work out that easily. Luckily, it's not too difficult just kind of a pain in the butt. So those are just five things I wish I knew more about my mini truck before I bought it. And I hope that helps any of you who have just been curious to know more, or maybe you're looking to buy one. Overall though, this thing has been so much fun. It's been really reliable. It's brought smiles to thousands of people's faces in Bellingham. And it's also created a lot of confusion because there's a couple other of these in town and people say they see me all the time, but it's not actually me. Don't worry, I, I just tell them it is me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy the mini truck. Be on the lookout for it around town. And don't forget, don't spend too much time watching a guy talk about his Japanese imported mini truck. But get out there, ride your bike, and make sure you do it every day.